Hi, my name is Benjamin Valera. I'm a filmmaker. I'm originally from Mexico City and I'm living right now in New York. Well, usually uh, something just triggers an image or a sequence or a scene in my mind and I just try to work around it. Usually what I do is just picture, uh, I don't know, for example, a man sitting down doing an interview and then just I start asking me questions about it. You know, why is he doing an interview? Where is he from? What does he want? And basically just the story comes around it and um, it has to feel natural though because if I feel that it's forced, I don't, I, I, I don't shoot it. I feel that um, you can tell that it's forced. So every time, that 90% of the times that I shoot a, a film story, is just that a picture and everything starts building up around it it's um it's hard and and, and i suffer a lot of it uh, i suffer a lot because i don't know when it's going to be complete or when i'm going to feel comparable to, to to say okay now it feels natural now it's complete now we can shoot it um but usually uh, that's the way that i work or, or, or it happens to me well I wanted to be an editor. Um, I didn't want to direct. I, I love the, the power that the montage gives you in the editing room, the narrative that you can achieve with cuts, you know, with, with a pace, with rhythm. And I, I, I used to love it. The problem is that at some point I jumped into these questions uh, that the, narrat the, the, the editing room couldn't answer. And that's when I realized that I had to cross the line and be more into directing. So I, I started studying directing and, and start answering those questions which are related more with that in between, that gap between the imposed image and the audience. That, that little in between, there's a lot to, to explore and that I'm obsessed with it. And I believe that the true filmmaking is in that in that spot, in that like cord, that umbilical cord between the imposed image, the frame, and and the audience, and I don't know, I I, I feel it, it's fascinating to me, and I'm trying to exercise that, and that's how I got into it. But at first, I, I, I loved editing, and I just wanted to be an editor. Usually, I shoot with a, with a very minimal crew, a uh, very tight crew, of course because of the budget, but also because uh, since in other shoots I've been uh, also working as a first assistant director. Uh, I don't know, I think that I can deal with some other issues and even though I like to delegate work in pre-production, I'm very neurotic and very, I, I, I don't know, I, I like to get involved a lot when we're shooting, so sometimes in set on location, I'm like tweaking lights, or I, I just wanna do it, even though if I have an AD or somebody else is, is doing it for me, or I know that they are gonna do it, I, I don't know, I get too neurotic, I, I get too, um, too into it, and, uh, but usually it's that, of course because of the budget, but also because I, I, I happen to know very talented people that are close, to me, and also the most important thing is that they like the work. They, they, they commit to your work, they trust in your ideas, and that's the, the, I think that's the best crew that you can get, you know? People, small crew, and they like your idea, they're committed to that, and that you have to respond to them. So it's like hard workers believing in, in that, in, in a piece of, 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 of product that it's all also uh, of them, you know? Not only the director or, or somebody else, it's, it's, it's a whole thing, it's a group, so. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, it, it, I, I like to be in, in a crew that is minimal. Well, it depends a lot on, on, on the budget, of course, but um, uh, we've been, I've been shooting with the DSLRs. I think that there's a great opportunity there to show your work, to keep exercising, to keep polishing your style, to to um, to just get out there, you know. And it doesn't matter if it's film, digital. You can uh, you can worry about that a little bit later. Well, right now, actually, I'm finishing the sound for a short film that I shot a few months ago called Fix. It was a very very fun uh, shoot, and it attracted a lot of attention. The problem is that. We had to postpone the, um, the premiere because 
some issues with the sound, but right now it's been taken care of. So I hope next week actually we're gonna finally be, be done with that short film and it's gonna be great. You can check it out on my website and the information and the links to it. And also I'm working in shooting, uh, hopefully in, in the next month, two more short films and a couple of promotionals for a uh, production company that I'm working on called Kaleido Collective, Kaleido Works Collective. And I don't know, it's pretty fun. We were trying to get involved with a lot of artists, these, uh, uh, painters, uh, writers, musicians. It, it doesn't matter. What we really want to do is to get involved in all kind of arts and produce quality video. Cause